Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. I'm just going to leave it. Um, I uh, Man, that bounce. That almost never happens. Uh, today, I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. Um, I do know what's in here, and I'm going to get it out and share it with you here in just a moment. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. Okay. Um, so this uh, was sent by Going Gear. This is this month's, or well, you're you're probably getting it for May. I'm gonna guess this is the April box, or maybe this is the May box and they sent it early, I don't know. This is the premium box, they have two of these. They have a basic box and then they have a premium box, right? These are monthly subscription boxes. Anybody who orders these will receive the exact same box for the same month, right? So if Tim and Greg and Bill get this box and I get this box and June rolls around, we will all get the exact same stuff for June. It's not just random stuff in every single box. People get really confused about that. Same way with the uh, less expensive one, but it does not include the premium item. The benefit of watching this video is if you want to go for the boxes, you can, but also Going Gear sells this stuff individually. So instead of rolling the dice on the box, you can watch me open it. And if there's anything that you like, then you can check out Going Gear, right? You don't have to go with the box. But I get the benefit of opening this up and sharing it with you guys. So I'm going to do that. Is there a... Why? Why you know open? Why you... Oh, there we go. Okay. Alrighty, what do we, oh, okay, we got a Kubi, and we got a Maxis, and we got, oh, coffee. I was like, is, what is this, is this makeup? I, <laughs> I should just read. Um, okay, there we go. The Going Gear EDC Club. All right. What do we got today? We got two knives, giant mouse swag pack, Waka coffee, okay. All right, so let's open up the giant mouse because it looks like the Kubi is a premium one, right? Giant mouse ace nibbler. The nibbler is a compact and efficient. I'm reading off the paper. This is not me. <laughs> there it is. Compact and efficient folder that works great as an uh, as an easy EDC. Why am I not reading correctly? Why not read good? Uh, great to see in areas and situations that size matters. <laughs> it's very generically written. Um, this might be a small knife, but it checks all the boxes you'd expect from a Vox and Anzo design. Okay, there you go. It was inspired by the character Nibbles Tuffy Mouse from the cartoon series Tom and Jerry. Nibbles may be small, but he sure is mighty, but like the Ace Nibbler. <laughs> this was not <laughs> the way this is written is just bad n690 blade still with aluminum handles and a backspacer manufactured by riot knives really manufactured by riot um this might be the least expensive riot i have ever experienced yeah it doesn't feel like an italian uh, giant mouse and i think you guys know what i mean by that um the Italian giant mouse knives are not, they don't feel very good. Um, this does feel like a Riot. Uh, we have green, like a toxic green aluminum, which is actually pretty cool. I wish they would do this more often. Uh, N690. Um, I, I think it's it's decent at this price point right now. A lot of people are going to be like, you know, they can't get around the price tag for how small a knife it is, right? It has to be a big knife if it's like over $7 or something. I don't know, right? But the fact that this is manufactured by Riot goes a long ways, right? And if you don't know who Riot is, I'll tell you, Riot probably makes some of the nicest production knives in the world. Yes, in the world. Absolutely 100%. And you'll hear echoes of that down in the comments section. This is awkwardly small, but the, the quality is absolutely there. I cannot, honestly, the easiest way to manipulate this, I'm trying to do the fancy stuff, but wheeling it out like this works just fine or like sort of pinching it out, right? Or of course, just opening it like this. Sorry, the camera is really wanting to see what's in the background. Um, it's running on bearings and it's actually pretty darn smooth. 
Um, yeah, this is made really, really well. I, I really, I can't say I'm too upset about the price tag, right? Um, there's a nested steel liner lock. It's all right. You know, I, I've never heard of Riot manufacturing something so inexpensive. Have you? That's got to be. What's the price on that? 95 bucks? Yeah. Still, you know, again, I, you know, people went, that's a lot of money for a little night. Yeah, I know. It's the kind of like the go-to kind of thing that your brain does, right? But if we think about Riot, <laughs> what's Riot's typical zone? Three to four hundred dollars? A lot of times that's on the low end, right? I'm always impressed to see a price by Riot that's under three hundred, right? So, right, 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 right. People are always like, does he know he says right a lot? Yes, I do. I do know that. But I, I'm not going to stop doing it. <laughs> That's a personal quirk. Can you imagine how hard it would be for me to go out of my way to stop doing it? Nah. I'm just going to accept it and keep saying it, right? Um, let's go ahead and... Waka Instant Coffee. Okay, I don't know anything about this. I like coffee, right? I'm not super duper particular. Oh, is this... It's freeze-dried. Add water, give it... Wa okay. All right, some coffee, right? It's uh, 11 bucks. Fine. Let's take a look at the Kubi. Just scratch the box! I don't care. Uh, oh, boy. Holy moly. They did a premium monster dog. Oh, I got to open this. Remember the monster dog? That one with the... the one I, I, I reviewed it a long time ago. God dang, that's cool. I reviewed it a long time ago. It was, the one that I had was the more budget version with... Um, this this camera is just like, but what about the background stuff? Um, it had the shiny Damascus uh, and G10 or something like that. So this is M390 and contoured flamed titanium. Oh, yeah, boy. So uh, that this is actually like. This is really comfortable. This is a really really comfortable knife, and I love the little thumb notch. I love the fat. It's kind of a, just a fat little frame lock, right? stubby little thing, kind of a little armored toucan looking thing. Um, but this works. And I also like that the thumb studs are so gigantic. They are definitely in the cutting path, but man, they are easy to get a hold of. Like really, really easy to get a hold of. Super smooth action, right? How much is this thing? That is an extremely good price, period. 170 are you kidding me that is a ridiculously good price this is a cool knife uh this is a really cool knife m390 and flamed contoured titanium dude kubi's that's 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 a really good price the the only thing that i wish that they would have done is gone the extra mile and just done s90v like they have done on a bunch of stuff this year but 175 uh, for Kubi quality and, uh, just like the materials in general. And like, this is, a, it's kind of a, this is a different looking knife too. Not just different looking for the sake of being different looking, but I mean, it's actually functional, right? Not a, I mean, it, it's fat, but it's not, it's, it's not like overly thick. Milled clip, full backspacer, anodized hardware, Contour titanium, flame titanium, no texturing, but still a little bit of personality here. And then, eh, kind of a boring bead blast on the blade, but that's okay. Good factory edge, right? I'm going to guess these are heat treated the same way most knives in this general territory are, 5961, something like that. Not a bad box. Not bad at all. feel like I really got my, my value on this one. These, like this box would have been 200 bucks. Uh, the Kubi alone would have, you know been been close right and even if this isn't really something i'm interested in this is okay okay enough right but i i love the kubi i think that's awesome hey all right we've done quite a few of these in a row that have been really good i know people are skeptical of these boxes but again that's part of the reason why i open them right it's not like they send me cool stuff and they send everybody else garbage and they just use me as a marketing catalyst no this is what's actually in the box, right? Anybody down in the comments who got the same box this month can probably confirm it. Unless this box is being sent ahead of time. But that's, this is what's in the box. Um, so, But anyways, 
The knives are individually available uh, on Going Gear's website for the exact prices listed here, so you can check that stuff out if you want to. That's up to you. Um, that's going to be pretty much it today. Cool. Good Good one. Um, this still, it still blows my mind that Riot made something that costs less than a hundred bucks. That is just wild. Um, where's the thing? All right, here we go. Anyways, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody. And have a great day.